White Sox looking to avoid a sweep at the hands of the Cubs in search of a 10th straight win, but it would not come easy against that guy, Chris Sale. He gets right to work in the first. There you go. That one had a little life to it at 97, and for a couple of games, Chris didn't have life on the fastball, but his arm seems to have bounced back well. You can see Ann Fowler down on strikes. He gone. He gone. That didn't take long. He gone. Four in a row. The last 21, Jose Abreu has been pretty hot, hitting 316. He's hit seven home runs, so it's been a good run for the big man. That ball deep in the right field. Stretch, stretch. He looks up. You can. Put it on the board. Yeah. Number 22, and it is 1 0 Sox. He gone. Eight strikeouts, two for Brian. He gone. Nine strikeouts. First pitch to Alexei. He hung it. He hit it hard. He looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. It's 2 0 Sox. And Alexei hitting his eighth home run of the year, driving in his 44th, and that was a no-doubter. The 3-1 to Cabrera, swinging a long one to right, down the line to the pole. If it's fair, this is gone. It's going to be fair to the pole and right. He's hit a home run. This is eighth. Sox lead 3-0. Oh, my. He was sitting on something off speed, got the cutter, inner part, one that a lot of guys will foul off. He kept it fair by getting his hands through first. Makes it a 3 nothing game. And you cancel a post game, Joe. First hit. Fowler was able to take that ball three inches off the outside corner and pull it into the hole on the left side. He gone. 14. 14 strikeouts. His career high is 15. He gone. And that ties his career high. White Sox avoid the three-game sweep as they win it 3-1, and they put an end to the Cubs' season-high nine-game winning streak. With his career-high tying 15 strikeouts, Chris Sale becomes the first White Sox pitcher since Ed Walsh in 1912 to record a third consecutive 200-strikeout season. Chris Bryant's hitting streak was snapped at 12 games as he went 0-4 with three Ks.